So through the magic of Zoom, <laughs> Avery has transported from Burbank, California to beautiful snowy <laughs> maritime. Um, and I am outer space. Yes, you are. That's action. I look at that. Because <laughs> MMA is out of this world. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> Tell us why you chose Maine Maritime. And interestingly, um, for those of you who wa are watching at home, Avery transferred to Maine Maritime. So I always think that when somebody transfers to Maine Maritime, that really tells us something because she's tried something somewhere else um, and is looking for something better. So why Maine Maritime and why international business and logistics? So first off, uh, a lot of people actually think that when you transfer, they're like, oh, you're going to your second choice school. Um, no, I'm actually going to what would have been my first choice if I had known what I'd really wanted to do. Uh, what I really wanted to do with my life. Um, so I originally was studying early childhood development at my last college and realized that I wanted more of a financial opportunity um, and I wanted the ability to travel more. So going to uh, actually what was my second major, um, what, what I wanted to do secondly was uh, business, but more importantly, international business and logistics, which was what MMA um, has provided for me or the opportunity to study. Uh, so having the opportunity to study uh, IBL or International Business and Logistics um, has opened so many doors for me, both athletically and academically. And I mean that wholeheartedly. Um, if I didn't go to MMA, I wouldn't have probably played another sport in my entire life if I went to another college. There probably wasn't the opportunity to play volleyball elsewhere. So I was able to continue my volleyball career and uh, funny enough, actually start a new athletic career with joining the lacrosse team. Um, I was able to have a better relationship with coach. I knew her as my sister's coach um, and was always jealous about the aspect of, man, she got such a good volleyball coach. Um, and I'm so glad that I can finally coach, call you my coach. Um, and also coming from California, I never got to see the snow. So this is completely new for me as well. Um, I finally get to understand what it's like to be in the snow and to be in that new environment. Um, no matter where you're coming from, if it's Maine, if it's somewhere else on the East Coast, um, or even if it's, on, if it's on the West Coast, you will have new opportunities that you never thought available to you. Um, and if you asked me two, three years ago what, where I thought I'd be today, it's definitely not, it's definitely not in the cold. It's definitely not doing business. Um, but I'm so grateful that I took the opportunity to do this. I'm so grateful that the opportunity was presented to me. Um, and I'm glad that I had the people around me now that I do. And that's, I don't know, I'm getting emotional thinking about it because you guys at, at MMA and the school as a whole has really changed my life for the better. You guys allowed me to branch out in so many ways and I have met friends that I can no longer imagine my life without, truly and honestly. Um, yeah, I miss my family when I'm at school, and, but I realize that when I'm back home, I miss my school friends, I miss my school family. So it's just been such an amazing opportunity. And I've had so many people come up to me saying like, wow, you're so crazy for leaving California. And I was like, they're the crazy ones for staying there. Like, I never want to leave MMA. I never want to leave Maine, the East Coast. But yeah, I think that the atmosphere, both athletically and academically, is unmatched by any. And I can say that for a fact since I've tried the others. 